Good evening, Richmond County, and welcome to your Monday edition of Live at Five. I'm Russell Parker. The death of George Floyd last week in Minneapolis, Minnesota, has sparked protests against police abuse across the country, even in Richmond County. Several Rockingham businesses shut down early on Sunday after plans to protest in the area were known. There was a strong presence by the Rockingham Police Department in front of Walmart as a small group of protesters gathered. Sheriff James Clemens said law enforcement was there to make sure they keep the community safe. However, he did add then that things were quiet. Later in the afternoon, a video posted to Facebook showed several protesters in Richmond Plaza chanting, quote, no justice, no peace, no racist police, and stop killing us. The group soon moved from the parking lot to East Broad Avenue, marching to Burger King and back. One of the organizers, who only gave his last name to McNeil, said the protest was to rally the community and let their voice be heard. Sheriff James Clemens and Rockingham Police Chief Billy Kelly approached protesters in the plaza parking lot when the group returned, discussing back and forth about the issues. Detective Lieutenant George Dillon Water said there was an incident at CVS Pharmacy on the corner of Long Drive and East Broad Avenue where a brick was thrown through the front door. Gillen Water said it seems to be unassociated with the main protest group. No arrests have been made as of yet. There has been chatter of another protest tonight. Gillen Water said the department will be staffed accordingly as a precautionary measure. Floyd died May 25th after being handcuffed by Minneapolis police on the suspicion of passing counterfeit currency. According to a criminal complaint filed against now former officer Derek Chauvin, who has been charged in the death, Floyd resisted being placed in a patrol vehicle saying he was claustrophobic. Two officers held Floyd down while Chauvin had his knee on Floyd's neck. Floyd complained he couldn't breathe several times and called out for his mother before losing consciousness. Another officer kept away bystanders who had asked the officers to ease up and to check for a pulse. According to the complaint, Chauvin was, had kept his knee on Floyd's neck for a total of 8 minutes and 46 seconds, nearly 3 minutes of which was after Floyd fell unconscious. Chauvin was charged Friday with third degree murder and second degree manslaughter. He and the three other officers involved have been fired from the Minnesota, uh, Minneapolis Police Department. Governor Roy Cooper activated 450 members of the North Carolina National Guard to help cities deal with potential property damage if riots continue. He said the SBI, Highway Patrol, and State Capitol Police will be available if local officials ask. Cooper said officials in Raleigh and Fayetteville had asked for help. The governor announced the call-up at a Sunday, May 31st news briefing. The night before a peaceful protest morning, Floyd erupted into vandalism and destruction in Charlotte, Raleigh, Greensboro, and Fayetteville. Dozens were arrested, injuries were reported, shots fired, and hundreds of buildings were damaged, including the International Civil Rights Center and Museum in Greensboro and the Market House in Fayetteville. Businesses which had barely reopened after COVID-19 regulations had been relaxed were gutted. Cooper said the initial protests were about healing centuries-old wounds of racism. He also chided those who were more interested in causing mayhem than protesting injustice. Richmond County has had its third COVID-19 related death. The Richmond County Health Department made the announcement on a Facebook post around 8.15 Saturday night. According to health officials, the deceased tested positive for the coronavirus earlier this month. No other details were given about the deceased. The first death attributed to COVID-19 was reported on April 10th. The second was on April 17th. Today, the department reports 163 total cases, with 73 of those recovered. 83 are in home isolation, while four are hospitalized. Governor Roy Cooper encouraged all North Carolinians to honor June 1st as a day of mourning to grieve the 100,000 people in America, including almost 1,000 in North Carolina who have lost their lives to COVID-19. More than 100 leaders of faith-based organizations, including Christian, Jewish, and Muslim houses of worship from across the country, led the national moment of silence this afternoon. Local and state leaders throughout the nation joined the call for silence, including the National Governance Association and the United States Conference of Mayors. 
one Richmond County gym owner was prepared to go to jail for defying a state order just so he can make a living. Evolution Health Club owner Blake Altman opened his business back up Thursday and was vid visited by officers of the Rock Canal Police Department. He says they gave him a warning and provided a copy of Governor Cooper's executive order which keeps certain businesses, including gyms and fitness centers, closed during the COVID-19 pandemic. He said in the past two days, officers went to his gym five times. When the officers returned on Friday morning, Altman still refused to close and was charged with a class two misdemeanor for being in violation of emergency prohibitions and restrictions with a subject to a $1,000 fine. Altman said he was initially threatened with arrest if he didn't have everyone cleared out by 2 p.m. Rockingham Police Detective Lieutenant George Gillenwater said Friday afternoon that as of now, the citation will be the only action taken against Altman. Altman said he applied for small business relief from the federal government, but did not receive it. If he had, he would have stayed closed. Although he's glad he didn't get cuffed, Altman is concerned that he still has to go to court on July 16th for trying to run a business. With the charge, he feels he's still being treated like a criminal. Altman was also upset with the frequent visits from officers, thinking that could have kept some members away. He plans to remain open despite the citation. NASCAR went to battle at Bristol Motor Speedway on Sunday in one of the most action-packed races of the season since the sport has been back after being put on hold due to COVID-19. In a final dash for the lead and the win, Joey Logano and Chase Elliott raced side-by-side -side before the nine car became loose and made contact with the 22. The two drivers lost their positions as Logano's teammate Brad Kozlowski took the lead and the checker flag. Clint Boyer scored second, and Jimmy Johnson rounded out the top three. Yeah, just a wild, wild day. Um, one of those days that, uh, you know, you look at and you think of as going back and, and being a part of Bristol lore for a long time to come. And I'm glad we were able to win it. Uh, but, geez, so much beating and banging. Oh, my goodness. We've all been cooped up in our houses too long and came to Bristol and took out some aggression, I guess. I, I don't know. But uh, early on in the race, everybody was hitting each other, and it carried in all the way to the end. And, uh, you know, some people ran me over. I probably ran some people over. And everybody's mad at everybody going into Atlanta next week. When we return, we've got your Live at Five weather report. It's coming up right after the break, so stay tuned. Locally owned and operated, One Stop Vape Shop is a place you'll want to check out. Whether you need vape supplies, signs, business cards, decals, or your chakras aligned, we have you covered. Our in-house print shop has quick turnaround time and is open seven days a week. We offer a wide range of products, including stones, herbs, pendants, CBD, kratom, and more. Visit us at 939 East Broad Avenue in Rockingham. She gets her soccer skills from her mom, her sense of humor from her dad, and her drugs from her home medicine cabinet. Over half of misused medication comes from family and friends. Talk to your children about the dangers of prescription drug misuse. Secure your medication, take regular inventory to ensure nothing is missing, and properly dispose of expired or unused medication. Be aware. Don't share. Lock your meds. At Richmond County Hospice, we strive to provide high quality care to our patients and their families. Whether it's the incredible hospitality at the Haven House or from the comfort of your own home, you can count on hospice to be there for you. We also offer monthly grief support groups and our chaplain will be there to hold your hand in prayer. Through our amazing staff and our volunteers, hospice has made difficult times easier for our community. Call the number on your screen if you feel that you or your loved one may benefit from our services. Richmond County Hospice, peace, comfort, dignity. Hometown heroes? Well, maybe. When it comes to backyard comfort and no pesky mosquitoes, call Brown Termite and Pest Control at 910-895-6410 or 910-276-8870. Their team of superheroes can take back control of your paradise. That's 910-895-6410 today. JC's in Rockingham has you covered for used appliances, parts, trailers, and storage. 
we have one of the largest selections of reconditioned washers, dryers, and refrigerators in the Sand Hills, and we offer free delivery to residents inside Richmond County. Come check out our variety of trailers for any hauling job and our storage buildings for the things you need out of the weather or house. We also carry parts and accessories for appliances, trailers, truck beds, and can order the things you need. That's JC's on South Hancock Street in Rockingham. Do you want a healthcare career? Certified medical assistants are multi-skilled healthcare professionals capable of completing administrative and clerical tasks, making them a valuable member of the healthcare team at medical clinics, doctor's offices, and other healthcare facilities. According to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, the employment of medical assistants is projected to grow 23% over the next eight years, much faster than the national average. At Richmond Community College, our medical assisting students are trained in our cutting-edge simulation learning center, giving them hands-on experience with high-fidelity mannequins that simulate real-life patient interaction. In addition to clinical skills, our students also receive instruction in scheduling appointments, coding, processing insurance accounts, billing, collections, and medical transcription. Complete the medical assisting program in just two years and start your lifelong career today. Visit www.richmondcc.edu to learn more about enrolling in the medical assisting program at Richmond Community College or call 910-410-1700. McNair Auto Sales is the place to buy your pre-owned car, truck, or van. To be the best, it takes big selection, friendly staff, and great pricing. We guarantee a no-hassle buying experience, and financing is available right on site. So come see us today. We're located at 1026 East Broad Avenue in Rockingham. And remember, with over 40 years of experience, you know McNair is the name you can trust. Your Live at 5 weather report is brought to you by R.O. Yellow, Richmond County's new online business directory. Happy Monday, everybody. Hope you're having a great day today. It's been nice and warm and sunny. Can't complain about it outside too much at all. But unless, of course, you don't like the hot weather that comes along with it. But nonetheless, uh, it does feel pretty good to have a chain of days back to back of rain. Do get some breaks in, but we're not done with rain just yet, folks. We do have some of it coming along here very soon. We'll take a look at Sunday forecast here in just a minute, but tonight we're looking at some nice uh, warm temperatures tonight. 7 o'clock, 74 degrees sunny skies. 9 o'clock, uh, moon's going to be out with a waxing gibbous moon phase. It'll be 67 degrees at 9, and then sunset will be at 8.28 p.m. Now let's take a look at tomorrow. We are expecting party cloudy skies all day long across the sand hills. Fayetteville will be a high of 82 and a low of 67. Rayford will be a high of 82 and a low of 67. Uh, down in Lumberton will be a high of 82 and a low of 68. Up in Southern Pines will be a high of 82 and a low of 67. Now, as you can see, as you can see these temperatures are really pretty much similar across the whole map. Uh, LRB will be a high of 82, low of 66. Rockham and Hamlet, also a low, high of 82 and a low of 66. Down in Bennettsville will be a high of 83 and a low of 67. And across the PD in the Waysboro, it will be a high of 83 and a low of 67. Once again, really warm temperatures coming up. And as I mentioned earlier about the rain potentially coming up, as you can see on the seven day forecast, we do have some precipitation coming in on Thursday, but first Tuesday, high of 82, low of 66. Wednesday will be a high of 88 with a low of 71. That's the warmest it's supposed to get in the next seven days. Thursday, high of 86 with a low of 71 with a small percentage of rain coming in. And then on Friday, it'll be a high of 86 and a low of 72. Uh, moderate to low te uh, percentages of rain for that day. And it's also low, temp uh, low percentages rather on Saturday as well. High of 86, low of 71. And then as we get into the next half, or excuse me, the next week rather, high of 83, low of 67 on Monday, or excuse me, Sunday rather. And then on Monday, it'll be a high of 82 and a low of 69 with partly cloudy sky. So, a lot of warm weather ahead and some of it getting really really up there close to the 90s uh, and then a little bit of rain hopefully may be around just enough to cool us off nothing too severe like we've seen in the past couple of weeks so hopefully it'll be a safe one when we do have some rain do need rain but we don't need it to be severe for sure 
And that's going to look for tonight's edition of Live at 5. Of course, for the latest news, sports, and events happening here in Richmond County, you can always visit richmondobserver.com or you can download the free RO app for your mobile devices. For the Live at 5 crew, I'm Russell Parker. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow. Good night, Richmond County.